the epidermis. There are four different layers to the epidermis, the stratum corneum, stratum lucidum, stratum granulosum, and stratum germinativum. Okay, let's talk about the epidermis. The epidermis is the outermost layer of the skin. It's the thinnest layer of the skin and it contains no blood, but it contains a lot of small nerve end endings. So we're going to talk about the epidermis as though there's four different layers of the epidermis. And I know it depends on which textbook you go to or where you're at as to how many layers they talk about in terms of the epidermis, but we're just going to talk about four. Often they split the stratum germinativum into two different layers, but we're just going to talk about it as though it's just one layer. Stratum germinativum to grow. Okay, the stratum germinativum. This is the bottom layer, and like I said, this is the one where often people talk about this as though it's two separate layers. They talk about a, the basal layer being that bottom layer of cells that is constantly reproducing the ones above it, and then the spinosum layer above it. But we're just going to talk about the stratum germinativum like it's one layer. So basically, when you think of the word germinate, what are you thinking about, right? It's to grow. The stratum germinativum is the layer of the skin where all the cells grow and reproduce and they get pushed to the top. So this is the layer where the cells that are being made eventually go to the top and then they're being shed. So I think of this layer like the chocolate rice crispy layer. The cells are fairly round, at least not squished like the layer up above it, and they're darker because this is the layer that has the melanin or the pigment that determines your skin color. So in the stratum germinativum, you've got the darker cells, depending on how dark your skin is, how much melanin you have in your skin as to how dark this layer will be, but all the cells are growing from here and being pushed up to the top layers of the skin. The stratum granulosum the flat granular layer. Okay, the next layer is the stratum granulosum. These are flat cells that are almost dead and they're waiting to be pushed to the top layer to replace the cells that have been shed from that very top layer from rubbing or scratching, anything like that. So picture this one if we're going to still stick with our food analogy like the special K cereal, something flat like that. So if we had our Rice Krispies that were more round underneath, those cells are being pushed up and they're being squished and flattened and they're almost dead in the stratum granulosum layer. Okay, so they're just flat, almost dead cells waiting to be pushed up to the next layer. Stratum lucidum, the see-through layer. The next layer is the stratum lucidum. Now, when I think of lucid, I think of something as see-through, sort of transparent. And that's exactly what this layer is. It's a see-through layer of small cells. So if we're going to try to remember, if we're remembering our four different layers, the stratum germinativum being like the Rice Krispies, the stratum granulosum being those Rice Krispies that are squished, and now you've got that flat special K layer. Now if we're going to stick with the food analogy and the stratum lucidum, try to think of something see-through. I'm thinking of honey, something like that. Just a thin see-through layer of cells for that one. The stratum corneum, the shedding layer. Now as we move to the very top layer, we've got the stratum corneum. This is the top layer that's constantly being replaced. When you scratch your skin, when you rub your skin, you're losing many dead skin cells from this layer. And don't worry about losing all these skin cells. You don't want to stop rubbing or scratching your skin if you need to, but because there's all those layers of cells underneath that are just waiting to replace these ones when they get shed from your, from your top layer of skin. The stratum corneum is also the layer of the skin that makes it waterproof. The keratin cells, and that's the same keratin that's, that is in your nails, it mixes with a thin layer of oil and then voila, you've got your waterproof layer. So this is your waterproof layer, it's also continually being shed. So if you want to try to remember this layer, if we're still sticking with our food analogy again, try to think of it like cornmeal or maybe like a corn tortilla or something like that. You know, corneum, cornmeal, you know, you have to work with me on this one, but we're trying to keep the food analogies in there. And, um, and that's what we've got. These are the dead flaky skin scales that can be just rubbed off and scratched off for our top layer. So that's it. Those are basically your four different layers within that very top thin layer of your skin, the epidermis.